Good morning and a warm welcome to all of you. Thank you for joining us here at Holy Family Parish in Thunder Bay. Through the Eucharist, Jesus gives us the strength we need on our journey through life to heaven. Today, we celebrate the most holy body and blood of Christ and honour Jesus as the bread of life. Just as God led Moses and the Israelites out of Egypt and through 40 years of hardship and danger in the desert, so Jesus gives us the strength we need as we follow him through the spiritual dangers of this life. This morning's Mass is being offered for the soul of Mimi Lamers, requested by Diane Genero. Please join me as we welcome Father Jaron and prepare to celebrate the feast of the most holy body and blood of Christ. Bread of life, hope of the world, Jesus Christ, our brother, feed us now, give us life, lead us to one another. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. A few weeks ago, I talked about mini rosary, and I did mention about the week after. And to be honest, I forgot about it then. And a few days ago, a mom sent their children's message that they started to say a mini rosary every day. And that kind of excited me. So I'm going to mention about the mini rosary again. And I would like to begin this Mass. Uh, I will light the candle and I would like to say a mini rosary with our children. And then we will begin the Mass. So if you remember how to say mini rosary, we make the sign of the cross and we think about one incident from Jesus' life and you think about someone who you like to pray for and then once you say one Our Father, one Hail Mary and Holy Mary and that makes a wonderful mini rosary. I'm going to light the candle and then we will begin the uh, mini rosary. And for all those children who are watching, this candle is a prayer for you, all the children. So let's pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You, if you like to think about one particular incident from Jesus' life, think about it. If the parents want to help your children, do that. And then think about that one person that you like to pray for today in this particular mini rosary. I have someone in my mind. And now let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, I would like to ask all the parents, grandparents, all the adults, please raise your hands on, uh, on all these children, and let us give them a very special blessing. Our loving Father, we ask you to bless all our wonderful children in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the, in the highest and, and on earth, earth peace, peace to people of good goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for a great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people. Remember the long way that the Lord your God has led you these 40 years in the wilderness in order to humble you, testing you to know what was in your heart, whether or not you would keep his commandments. He humbled you by letting you hunger, then by feeding you with manna with which neither you nor your ancestors were acquainted in order to make you understand that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Do not exalt yourself, forgetting the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, who led you through the great and terrible wilderness, an arid wasteland with poisonous snakes and scorpions, he made water flow from the flint rock and fed you in the wilderness with manna that your ancestors did not know to humble you and to test you and in the end to do you good. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he strengthens the bars of your gates. He blesses your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He grants peace within your borders. He fills you with the finest of wheat. He sends out his command to the earth, his word runs swiftly. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and ordinances to Israel. He has not dealt thus with any other nation. They do not know his ordinances. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. <clears throat> A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a sharing in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a sharing in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
sequence for the most bo- holy body and blood of Christ. Come behold the bread of angels, this our strength on pilgrim's way. For the children God is giving manna for our bread each day. Now the sign of Isaac telling Christ has conquered on this day. Hear our prayers, O kindly shepherd, before us true living bread. Grant us peace in all our doings, to our resting place be led. Forth with all the saints now dwelling, we the body, you the head. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the people, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Who eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The people then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, You have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like that which your ancestors ate and they died, but the one who eats this bread will live forever. Jesus said these things while he was teaching in the synagogue at Capernaum. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Whenever I learn a teaching of Jesus from the Bible, I always look for an example that in and around me. And once I find an example, not quite the same, but very similar to what Jesus is talking about in the Bible, that makes me very happy. And that's how I kind of delve into my spiritual life. That's how I go deeper in my understanding in my faith life. And today, we are celebrating the solemnity of the most holy body and the blood of Christ. And the closest example, when I reflect upon the the body and blood of Jesus Christ, is our mothers. Eucharist, to me, is an how did you say, uh, Chris, umbilical cord? For me, when I say it, umbilical cord. But I, I just asked uh, Chris just before Mass, umbilical cord. Hope you all understand what I'm talking about. Eucharist is an umbilical cord. If you look at our mums, our children, the babies, when the babies were formed in the womb, 
they receive everything everything through this umbilical cord if the if a child say no i don't want to receive anything through this that means there is no life so when i look at jesus what other example or imagery he can ever take choose to show his love and care for us so if we are here saying no i don't want this spiritual umbilical cord that means we have no spiritual life so that is my closest example actually there is two young couple that i know they are from india they had their babies like last almost a month in a month time and in both case their parents were not with them and i i know how much they have gone through because one had a long labor the other one not so long but fairly long labor and nobody around them just the couple just the husband and wife nobody around no, no families here and the pain they have gone through and if i ask them and i particularly asked one of them yesterday and she said that is the most beautiful thing she ever experienced yes it was very painful but that was the most beautiful experience she ever experienced and she is her late 20s like close to 30 and in 30 years when she experienced this sharing that's when she felt she so relevant and that's when she felt very strong as a woman so she transferred into that motherhood and jesus gave his life his bo- body and blood for us if you ask me what is the most beautiful thing in the world there are yes it's a very subjective question when we talk about beauty to me and i'm sure you most of you will agree with me the most beautiful thing in the world is self giving there is no other thing more beautiful than self giving and that is why jesus gave everything so whenever we come to holy eucharist everything we see here is giving uh, that is why i don't know how many centuries it's now cross holy cross it's so attractive sacrifice is so beautiful so if you like to deeper in your deepen in your relationship with your husband and wife there is no other shortcut but just give each other self giving is the key to deeper in our relationship you know that is why the moms love their children no matter what i have heard and i have experienced so many great stories from different moms there is quite a few stories that come to my mind i don't want to share those because some of them are very personal stories but you probably know i personally know uh, i can share this particular story because not a story but i can give a witness my mom loves me no matter what and i know how bad i am how bad i was when i was a teenager and uh, my mom loves me uh, no matter what uh, if she was conditional uh, if she was sent uh, loving me uh, the way she did i never become who i am today uh, so she understood me she stood with me she she forgave me everything what i did i was not that bad but i'm just saying um she was unconditional and probably she loves me the way she loves me because she gave me so much the more you give the more you love the more we receive the more we respect the more we uh, can love back so we all love to love we all love to be loved so if you love to be loved just follow what jesus did he gave everything and that is a calling for each and every one of us give each other yes it is difficult it is very very difficult but if we can practice giving that is uh, that will bring peace joy and love to your life may god bless you now let us stand and profess our faith i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven 
and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, a holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us bring our needs to God who desires to grant us what we need. For Pope Francis, our bishops, our bishop priests, and all who serve the church, may the Lord strengthen them in their mission of bringing the light of Christ to a weary world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our civic leaders and all who help formulate public policy, may the Holy Spirit guide them in all that they do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For people in war-torn countries, may God bring them peace and security. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For this gathered assembly, may the, lo the love and truth that God has poured into our hearts sustain us in all that we do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who have completed their pilgrimage on earth, May they find eternal joy in their heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who suffer the consequences of the current pandemic, that God the Father may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, comfort to families, and salvation to all the victims who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the soul of Mimi Lammers, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Our loving Father, hear and answer these prayers we offer before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> but the mystery of this water and wine may become to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. When I prepare the bread and wine, I'm, I am so glad to say uh, all your prayers, intentions that I placed here at the altar. Uh, this is the time of offertory, so I, I consider and I bring all our prayers, intentions, um, our expectations, our cries, our worries, anxieties, everything that I put at the altar, and it is taken care of by our loving Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With a humble spirit and contrary heart may be accepted by you, our Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery, and the offerings we hear present through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he is the true and eternal priest who instituted 
the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as a saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong, and as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so, with angels and archangels, with thorns and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down a spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this blood, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis I, our Pope, and Frederick Hawley, our Bishop, and all the clergy, and these people, and their families. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, your city of apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. Blood of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. Now it's our spiritual communion time. As we usually do, Gillian will lead the prayer. I will raise the uh, blessed sacrament up high. And please uh, make yourself uh, to reflect uh, on the prayers that Gillian is going to lead for our spiritual communion today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One bread, one body, one Lord of all. One cup of blessing which we bless. And we, though many, throughout the earth, we are one. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray, that we may delight for all eternity in that share in your divine life which is foreshadowed in the present age by your reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. I know I have received uh, lots of phone calls about the reopening of the church. 
Um, as you probably know, uh, our bishop is um, making a, a uh, having different discussions with the priest and different people. And once I know for sure what's the plan, uh, then I will let you know. Um, until then, we will continue to celebrate Holy Mass online. Uh, you will be uh, duly informed before we begin the Mass here inside the uh, building. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to uh, Gillian uh, for your assistance for reading and beautiful singing. Gillian, thank you so much. Uh, Chris, uh, we have no enough words to uh, say thank you for your generosity. You're, you're personally here. You're, all your equipments are here. Thank you so much. We really appreciate. Uh, and uh, Vijo, thank you so much for coming so early and help me and help uh, Chris every time. Thank you so much. And thank you for all of you for sending me different emails uh, and sharing your personal faith stories. And uh, sometimes people send me, uh, I received a litany of humility. Uh, so I placed that at the altar as well. Uh, I, last week I received a, a Trinity prayer. Uh, so I receiving uh, so many different uh, emails, prayers and faith stories, your journeys and your special intentions. I feel like I'm more connected than I used to be uh, when we are you know, set apart this time of uh, physically um, away, uh, which I really love. So thank you so much for your care. Um, and please let me know if there is anything I can do as a priest. Um, of course, I can pray. And if you like to see the second of reconciliation in the parking lot, please let me know, just send me an email or a phone call, or if you have a personal intention, please send over the email as well. Please bow down for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, and glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Sing of the Lord's goodness, Father of all wisdom. Come to him and bless his name. Mercy he has shown us, his love is forever. Faithful to the end of days. Come then, all you nations, sing of the Lord's goodness. Melodies of praise and thanks to God. Ring out the Lord's glory, praise him with your music. Worship him and bless his name. <laughs> 